The Order of Fratrum Minorum Capuchinorum, also known as the Order of Franciscan Friars Minors Capuchins, abbreviated as OFM Cap, is a mendicant Catholic religious order founded in 1525 by an Italian friar, Matteo de Bessio. The Order of Friars Minor Capuchin belongs to the First Order of St. Francis of Assisi within the, the Catholic Church in the whole world. It was started in the year 1528 in Italy. Capuchin brothers are both ordained and non-ordained. Capuchin brothers, like other religious congregations, take the vows of celibacy, poverty, and obedience. But in Kenya, the order was established in the year 1974 by our missionary Capuchin brothers from the island of Malta in Europe. This year, 2024, marks the golden jubilee of the Order of Friars Minor Capuchins, the largest of the contemporary first orders within the Franciscan movement. When our missionaries from the island of Malta in Europe brought the Capuchin life in Kenya, they planted the first seed of the Capuchin vocation in this country. That seed has grown and it has produced fruits through the work of the missionaries themselves, but more so through the work of the local brothers. This order stands as one of the longest Catholic congregation of brothers and priests who adhere to the teachings and spiritual disciplines of the founder, St. Francis of Assisi, and of his main associates and followers, such as Claire of Assisi, Anthony of Padua, and Elizabeth of Hungary, among many others. Known for their trademark habit, a capuche, also known as almos, we have this, what we are calling uh, capu capucci. It's called capucini. Mm -hmm. Our capuchin uh, brothers put on uh, this dress. This dress is called, it's called a hood. It has a meaning. You see, like this one, it is like a basket, like, mm -hmm. in the sense that we embrace the, the, the poverty. Uh, brothers, when they had no food, they could go around the streets and people could put food in the capuche mm. or uh, uh, the hood. When they come back to the community, the one in charge of the community, we call him the guardian, he could uh, go and uh, offload to see the type of food that they have brought. Then they could share. Because being a religious uh, order, mm -hmm. uh, we have the vow of poverty. And therefore, whatever we get, we share in common. And that is also another meaning of this. The name Capuchins refers to the peculiar shape of the long hood. When the first friars went to preach in Camerino in 1534, the locals called them Scampuccini. They soon became known as Friars Minor Capuchins. This is the Ordo Minor, Ordo Fratrum Minorum Capuchinorum, better known as uh, the Order of Franciscan Friars Minors, OFM Cup. Later on, uh, this uh, charism would proliferate uh, to Kenya in 1974, spreading their wings to other places, counties, and uh, right now, as we stand, 10 dioceses uh, in Kenya. There is a commitment to poverty, prayer, and fraternity life, exemplifying the charism that was started by the founder, St. Francis of Assisi. Since its establishment in Kenya 50 years ago, the Capuchin friars have fortified their presence, spreading out their friary wings to more regions within the country and beyond the geographical boundaries of Kenya. Since 1974, Captain Franciscan order has grown and spread to 10 dioceses, including Garissa Diocese, Nairobi Archdiocese, Malindi Diocese, Nyeri Archdiocese, Kisumu Archdiocese, Homa Bay Diocese, 
Kericho Diocese, Kitale Diocese, Ngong Diocese, and Machakos Diocese. We also work outside the country in Papua New Guinea, California, New York, South Africa, and Zambia. We also have some brothers studying in Rome. In germinating the roots of the OFM capuchins in Kenya, the first seeds were sowed in the good soil of Garissa County in the northeastern part of the country. The fruits would later germinate and sprout out to other parts. Our missionaries, when they first came, they settled in Garissa. And the, in the Diocese of Garissa, the first bishops have been capuchins. And we have the first community in this place, in the bishop's uh, residence. The Franciscan Capuchin Friars continue to hold Garissa Diocese Episcopat since it was carved out from dismembered territories of Mombasa Ak Diocese and Meru Diocese on February 3, 1984, with the Right Reverend Paul Darmanin, OFM Cup, appointed the pioneer bishop by Pope John Paul II, serving from 1984 to 2016. Bishop Darmin was succeeded by Bishop Joseph Alessandro OFM Cup, who served as the second shepherd of Garissa Diocese until June 17, 2022, before handing over the ecclesiastical staff to the third and current bishop, Right Reverend George Mudaka OFM Cup. Within the Diocese of Garissa as well, we have one parish. That is uh, Hola Parish, where we have our brothers doing apostolate, serving the people of God. Mwaka elfu moja miya tisa sabina hine, eh, paroko wa kwanza, mbao ni mukapuchini, Father Joe Galea, aliwasili na kachukua na fasi hiyo ya kuwa paroko. Na kwa hiyo ikawa parokia. Na wakati huo parokia ilikuwa eh, Hola, Wenche na Bura likuwa kitu kimoja, alikuwa na udumu pande hiyo. Na aliudumu akiwa peke yake kwa muda, na ba miaka mbili badae, eh, Father Supiro Galeo, alimu, alimu mwaka wa simina sita, aliingia hapa, akaanza kuudumu pamoja kama paroko msaidizi. Na kwa jumla wote wawili waliudumu kwa miaka arubaini, baka mwaka wa elfu mbili, kuminatisa. Kanisa la mtakati Francisco wa Sisi Hola, ikona makanisa matano, Hapa center hola, kuna laini, kuna chewani, kuna kiarukungu na kuna kone. Jumla ya wakristo wote kwa idadi ni elfu moja miasaba, kulingana na ukaguzi wa mwaka uliopita. Lakini familia zenyewe, familia zote ni e, the manina moja. Katika hiyo e, iso familia the manina moja, e, tunaona kamfano hapa St. Francis of Assis Center hola, E, wakristo ni kama miatatu na, na kitu, kama miatatu wa msini, miatatu sitini hapo. Lakini familia zenyewe ni kama miamoja na msini na moja. Sisi tumeunda jumuhia ambao tunaudumia wa kristo wetu. Kiro, kila wiki, kama Monday, tunamisa sa kumina mbili na dakika 12 na dakika 15 asubuhi na wa Kristo ambao ni wazee na wagonjwa tunawahudumia siku ya Jumatano kuanzia asubuhi mpaka saa alafu siku zingine tunawahudumia maybe vijana wakikuja ama tukitembea kwa wale ambao atungeweza kuwafikia uh, wakati wa Jumatano. E, tunashukuru sana uwepo wa vikundi katika kanisa la mtakati Francisco wa Asisi. Tukianza na CWSM na St. Anne pamoja na kwaya na ata wana yudhi wetu. Kwa sababu, kwa mfano kikundi cha St. Anne diyo kiliachwa na wa missionari wakati wa kukua na CWSM. Lakini wana, waliundwa kwa ajili ya kuombea miito na kuombea familia. Na asa kuwapelekea maombi wale ambao wamerudi nyuma kiimani wanapeleka kwa boma 
wanaenda boma wanaomba na kuuliza kwa nini mumeregea kanisani. Kwa hiyo tunaona katika kikundi hicho cha Send Ana kwa miaka hiyo iliyopita kimekuwa kimsaada mkubwa na hasa ndoa mingi tunaweza kwa attribute kwa mtakatifu Ana kwa kutembelea wakristu kwa jumuiya kwa boma na hata kwa, kwa, kwa kanisa. Tuko na zile activities ambazo tunafanya ya kiimani watu tunazungukiana tuna out, out, out stations kwa maana kuna wengine ambao ni wazee waweze kufika so tulifanya kama tunatembelea kila mwezi tunawazungukia tunafanya mambo ya maombi na hata katika parokia level tuko na mradi ya tailoring project ambao tulianza ili tusaidia katika masafari yetu mambo ya imani kwa maana kama mko na kitu kwa mfuko mkiwa na safari itakuwa ni gharama kama ni ile mali penye ile kumu lipe hata kama ni 4000 2000 lakini sasa ile pesa inapungua ndio tulikuwa tunataka wamama wajiunge lakini sasa wenye walijiunga mpaka saini wa mama 77 mimi at the moment nilijoin na CWA ninaona kuna mambo mengi unajua ukijiunga na kanisa kuna msaada na hata kuna faida yake katika kanisa si faida kuwa utapewa kitu lakini ukiweka mambo yako unamtegemea Mungu na unasaidia kanisa kuna mambo yako mengi hata Mungu anakufungulia baraka anakufungulia mengi kwa hivyo yango ni kwa sihi wakina mama wajijiunge na kikundi cha CWA ili hii uh, injili tuweze kuenesa sote katika kanisa letu na Kenya mzima mara nyingi huwa tuko na kikao ambacho uh, tunakifanya kila baada ya miezi mitatu ambacho ni cha cha parokia kama tiku ya parokia na huwa tunakuja na program na mikakati ya, ya maendeleo kwa hiyo kufikia sasa tuko na miradi mi, miwili mikubwa ambayo tumeifanya kwanza kabisa ya kwanza ni hili kanisa ambayo ilikuwa rangi ilikuwa imechakaa ilikuwa ni ya kutoka wakati huo so tukasema kwa kuwa ni center wacha tuipatie a facelift eh? so tukaweka rangi yote alafu juu pia kulikuwa na sehemu ambayo ilikuwa ina wakati wa mvua ilikuwa inavuja tukarekebisha hiyo ya pili ni kanisa la mtakatifu Luka pale kone kanisa hili lilianzishwa na na father joe lilianza tu aliliacha lilipokuwa nafikiri uh, ilikuwa ni jiwe la tatu kutoka chini na tukakaa kama kamati tukasema hatuwezi kuangalia kanisa hili li, liwe vile kwa sababu uh, kwa ukubwa ni kanisa la pili katika parokia yetu tunavyoendelea unakuta idadi ya familia zetu zinaongezeka hadi sasa hii tunasema katika parokia yetu iko na kama familia 400 kuendea 500. Kwa majina naitwa Florence Kidada. Mimi ni chair lead kikundi ya devotion. Kikundi cha maombi cha chama cha mtakatifu Hana. Dho ni kikundi ambacho kinaunganisha watu ambao wamefunga ndoa kwa kanisa. Na ni kikundi ambacho ni cha sala cha kuomba mwenye anaingia hapo anatakana kuishi maisha ambayo yanaendaana na maisha ya mama Ana. Sasa mama Ana tulimpenda tulimwenzi sana hapa kwa sababu alitupatia msichana ambaye aliweza kuokoa ulimwengu dunia nzima tuseme. Kuhusu maisha yetu ya kidini, Father alikuwa kila mwaka tulikuwa tunabatiza katekumen. Father alikuwa ana tukimaliza pasaka tu tunaanza kurekruit anaanza kuchukua wale wameingia ndini upya anaanza mafundisho anaanza mafundisho mpaka anadha pasaka that night atunakuwa na ubatizo wa watakati kumeni wetu that's how he brought our faith kuwa very strong mimi naitwa Mary Sachombe mimi ni mama yake father Daniel Monima na mimi na niko katika jumu ya St Luanga ambayo zamani ilikuwa inaitwa eh jumia hola mission so nilipo jiunga nikapitia mafundisho na nikawa na ile bidii ya kujua unaendelea nini katika kanisa la katholiki ana mpangilio yake na ile ya methodist kutofaiti kabisa 
so mwisho nilipoendelea kujua na nika nika nauliza wenzangu ambao walikuwa mtakatifu ana ambao nilikuwa nawaona kila siku wanakuja mafundisho na alamisi jioni niliwajua hawa kapchini kutoka mwaka wa 1980 ya wakati nimeungana na mzee Jumi ilikuwa Methodist lakini mzee alikuwa Catholic so tulipoungana nika hawa nakuja hapa kanisani walipenda kukaa na sisi na hata kutoka kwao walikuwa walikuwa na ugumu sana kutoka hapa hola waliona kama ambayo wanadhulumiwa kutoka hola because wameona hapa wamefika nyumbani na wamezoea na tumependana sasa hii kanisa imekuwa nikiona from pale this is office eh, office and this pale juu ndio tukanjenga kanisa kidogo tu ambaye hata saa hii iko from there ndio tukahama tukanjenga hiyo kanisa sasa ambaye tunaabudu siku hizi ile ambaye ni kubwa na hiyo kanisa ni sisi wenyewe tulichimbua foundation kutoka chini yale wale waumini wale christians tena walikuwa wachache sana sasa ikakaa ikakaa ikakua ikakua mpaka dakika hii sasa naona waumini ni wengi kazi yetu ni kuhubiri neno la Mwenyezi Mungu kupitia kwa e, nyayo za wale waliotangulia Father Joga Lea na Father Supiro na tunaendeleza kazi hizo uh, kwa kuhubiri neno la Mwenyezi Mungu lakini kati ya hiyo neno la kuhusu wakati wakati ule sio Jumapili tuna kazi mingi tunafanya kwa mfano kuna prison ambayo iko hapa ambao tunaenda kutembelea wafungwa mara moja kwa wiki kila Jumamosi tunakwenda pale na mara mbili kwa wiki wanakwaya wetu wanaenda kuimba nyimbo kule prison tukitegemea kwamba nyimbo pengine wakisikiza nyimbo wale wafungwa wataweza kubadilika lakini kwa upande ule mwingine katika huduma zile tunawapea e, tu, wakati mwingine kupitia kwa baba askofu kama wakati huu tuna baba askofu George Mudhaka ametupea uh, ration ya chakula ambao sasa haibagui mukristo na muislamu wote wenye njaa wanapata chakula. Kwa hiyo sisi tuna kazi yetu ni kuchukua chakula na pick up na tunawapelekea kule vijijini kupitia kwa chief na local administration tunagawa hiyo chakula kwa watu mbalimbali. Mbali. Aijalishi ni Muislamu ama ni Mkristo wote wale wenye njaa tunaandikwa wanaandikwa chini kupitia kwa jumuiya ndogo ndogo za Ukristo na pamoja na serikali ya chief na local administration tunawagawia chakula kila mmoja anapata uh, ratio moja na yule mwingine bila ku, kuwabagua tulianza project ya kupanda miti na kwa kweli tumejitahidi kadri uwezo wetu ingawa sehemu ni desert lakini tumehakikisha kwamba tunaenda kuleta miti kutoka kwa mtu na tunakuja tunamwagilia miti yetu so far tumepanda miti na saba na bado tunaendelea kupanda miti ili upendo wa Francisco uweze kuonekana hata katika parokia yetu ya Hola. We I see even the priests have come later after Joe they have done something and uh, I would say that I know that they have worked a lot they are very serious I would say that they continue with a strong faith and also they be very serious zealous in the faith and also they continue reaping their consecration fully and their signs to the people of God. We are also happy as sisters of St. Joseph of Tabs because we work together with them and we are here, we have a school, we are working with the, in the parish, we are also happy to work with the captions in this diocese. <laughs> akapushini ambao alikuja toka Malta ni kuomba waendeleze huyo moyo ya wale wanzilishi waliokuja hapa Kenya waendeleze huyo moyo wa kufanya kazi wa kuchapa kazi na fada waendeleze kuweka bidii wafanye kazi kwa moyo wote kama vile wao wasongo walivyofanya kwanza na washukuru waliotangulia na sasa tumetimiza miaka hamsini. Katika miaka hiyo hamsini 
nimeona wakapchini wetu wamepanga mipangilio mzu. Kwanza tukianza na mashule. Wakapchini kila mahali walikuwa ukienda wenje utakuta mashule imesimama secondary na primary. Na kuna wenje boys huko ni wao walianzisha. Ukija hapa hola kuna hola boys na kuna mashule ya primary, kuna rafiki primary, laza, kuna eh, maumao girls na kuna mashule mengine mengi. Lakini hata hapa kwa kanisa tuna shule ya mtakatifu eh, mtakatifu Joseph, St. Joseph eh, Holy Angel eh, Primary School. Na ukienda bura utakuta mashule vile vile wamejenga. Ukienda Emmaus kuna St. Joseph na kuna mpango wa hospitali hapo ya St. Joseph pamoja na kuweka college ya college ya, college ya, 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 ya walimu pale. Na washukuru wa kapuchini kwa sababu ya mipango hiyo ya kuweka structure za mashule pamoja na dispensary. Tunaambiwa katika kanisa letu Yesu alifanya hayo, alilisha watu wenye njaa, aliwasamee wa, wa, wa dhambi na wenye, wagonjwa aliwaponya. Sasa tunaona wamejenga shule kwa ajili ya mkate wa kila siku, mashule mengi katika jimbo katika jimbo hili la Garissa ni wakapuchini wamejenga. Na wamejenga hospitali mingi kwa ajili ya wale wagonjwa kwa sababu e, tunaendelea katika nyayo tuliachiwa sawa missionary tumepiga hatua zaidi na zaidi kuliko wakati wa missionary saa hii tunajivunia mashamba ambao tumepata kupitia kwa uongozi wa wa Afrika wa missionary ambao ni wa Kapuchini tumepata mashamba kila sehemu ukienda Nyeri ukienda na Akuru ukienda Bungoma ukienda Machakos ukienda Tana River kuna mashamba ya kutosha na miradi ambayo tumeweka ya mashule na kuwapongeza kwa kuvumilia miaka hiyo ya tabu ya hapo nyuma kulikuwa misitu, wanyama, magonjwa. Na ataka kupongeza wakapuchini, wakapuchini wametufanyia eh, mambo ambao tunajivunia sisi. The effort that is put on by the captain priest and the brothers who are working around is what is making them to realize that in life, as much as there is other things they can do, without God they can't go far. Therefore, it's a responsibility that their captains have taken with good heart, ready to go on despite of the hardship of the area, working, moving on here and there to reach the Christians. Language is another issue, but the captains, it's like a, a cup of tea, I may say, because they are able to relate with all people and working with all of them together. The Capuchins later moved to Malindi Diocese, which is constituted by three communities, and Marian Shrine, popularly known as St. Mary's Catholic Church in Msabaha, Malindi. The first community is our initial formation uh, house, a postulant's house, where we do our uh, formation. When we get the candidates, we receive them in this uh, community and they receive the uh, initial formation to be accompanied by their formators so that uh, the vocation that they receive from uh, Christ, they may be through the power of the Holy Spirit be able to listen to the voice of God calling them to serve in the church as captioned brothers. Musingi wa maisha ya kifransisko inaanzia hapa katika nyumba hii. Na hapa ndu wanao, wala ndu wambayo, wanasikia kambu kwamba wako na witu, wawo wamefutiwa kujiunga na wakapuchini wa Francisco, wakiandika application wanapokelewa hapa. Ili wanze na musingi wa malezi. Musingi wa malezi hapa ni miaka miwi. Mwaka wa kwanza wa posturansi, Na mwaka wa pili, wa poso ranzi. Wanafundisho namna ya ukaa pamoja. Bile namna ya ukaa pamoja. Bile wanaesa kushirikishana wanashiriki vitu vya pamoja. Kama ni chakula, kama ni kidogo, hicho ndicho. Hicho ndicho wana, wote wana, wanakula. Risose sikiwa nyingi ya yote. Kiwa kidogo ni yotu. Wanafundisho namu. Ili kuondoa ile spirit ya yobinafsi mimi ni mimi nataka ni mimi ni shibe kuliko wengine au nichukue zaidi ya wengine malezi katika nyumba uh, kitu cha kwanza ni kuelekeza uh, 
katika mambo matatu yaliyo makuu kitu cha kwanza ni maisha ya sala kwa kuwa mtakatifu Francisco alipenda zaidi kujifananisha na Yesu Kristo na kafuata yale yote Yesu Kristo aliyofuata kwa hivyo katika sala aliweza kuzama katika kuyafuata hayo maisha ambayo Yesu Kristo aliyoyaishi kwa hivyo tunafundisha maisha ya sala kuanzia asubuhi tunapoamka tunakuwa na sala muda wa kutafakari na tena sala ya asubuhi na pia kila siku tunakuwa na ipanda ya misa takatifu ambapo mambo mengine yanafuatia kama masomo na pia kazi ya mikono pia jambo lingine ambalo tunawashirikiza zaidi ni kukaa pamoja ama community life maisha ya nchumuia kama vile mtakatifu Francisco alivyo tufundisha akatuambia kwamba kitu cha kwanza katika maisha haya ni kuwa ndugu na ndugu ni mtu yule ambaye yuko pamoja nawe wakati wote wakati wa furaha yuko pamoja nawe wakati wa uchungu pia yuko pamoja nawe ni mtu ambaye awezi akakuacha kwa ujumla niweza nikasema ni malezi ambayo yanafaa zaidi ni, na ni malezi mazuri pale ambapo tunafundishwa tofauti na haya mambo za darasani tunafundishwa kuishi maisha zaidi ya kikapu chini tunaelezewa zaidi tunachohitajiwa kufanya kama ndugu wa kapuchini hasa baada ya kuweka nadhiri za kwanza jinzi tunapaswa kuishi yale ambayo tuliahidi sasa kwa kipindi hichi maisha ya noviciati ni kipindi kizuri sana kwa sababu gani inatusaidia na pia tunaweza kupata kupatana na ndugu wengine kutoka nchi tofauti tofauti na ile ushirikiano vema tunaweza tunapata kusoma kitu kutoka kwao na wale pia wanasoma kitu kutoka kwetu mwaka 2022 nikaweza kupewa nafasi ya kujiunga na shirika la Wakapuchini nilikuwa tarehe tano mwezi wa saba tuliweza kupokelewa kuanzisha maisha yetu ya posilanti mpeketoni umoja kwa sasa nimemaliza mwaka moja na naendelea na mwaka yangu ya pili kutoka kipindi hiki cha malezi hapa mpeketoni umoja natarajia kupewa nafasi ya kuenda katika kipindi kingine cha Novisiate kule Tanzania ili niweze pia kupata nafasi ya kuweka nadhiri zangu za kwanza katika shirika na kuweza kuishi maisha ya kapuchini wadogo jinsi ninavyokuwa nikitamani kuishi na niweze kutumikia Mungu popote atakapoweza kunituma waomba wote hasa vijana ambao wanasikia kona wito wa kumtumikia Mungu uh, katika shamba lake ningeomba waweze kujiunga nasi kwa kuwa uh, katika kuyafuata maisha ya mtakatifu Francisco na katika kuzama katika injili takatifu ndipo tutaweza kupandilisha ulimwengu ambao uko na changamoto nyingi na pawe pahali pema pa kila mmoja kuishi na kusikia ame, kila mmoja amependwa na, na kupalika na pia ko na hiyo nafasi ya kufurahia maisha ambayo Mungu ametupatia tunazo parokia mbili katika jimbo la Malindi eh Kristo mpanzi mwema hapa mpeketoni na St Mary's Msaba Shrine ambapo tunahudumia kama ndugu wa Kapchino wamishonari ndio walianzisha uh, hii parokia ambayo tuko, tuko hapa saa hii eh, Kristo mpanzi mwema hapa mpeketoni Father Baltachino was posted to Lamu and started work immediately He would come to Mpeketoni by bus and uh, and uh, and picked up from Kunumbi by Tarsisia Sowambugu the catechist who would carry him up to this place on a bicycle to say mass and then ride him back to Mkunumbi to await uh, the bus from Mombasa to take him back to Lamu 
baadaye kukaja bishop barabara na saa hii tuko na bishop lago ambaye tunaendelea vizuri kushirikiana kuonyesha ya kwamba tuna tu, tuweze kuendeleza neno la Mwenyezi Mungu vizuri Bishop Francis Baldacino of the OFM Capuchin Order who was the pioneer prelate of Malindi Diocese from June 6, 1937 to October 9, 2009. He would progressively pass over the baton to other religious leaders who came after him. Nakumbuka wakati wa Father Ira Liabela. Kwa sababu amejaribu sana kuinua hii parokia, amekaa miaka mingi na ushirikiano mzuri wa missionari na wale ndugu wa Kenya. Basi e, kuna wakati ulifika na ndugu wa Afrika sisi ambao ni wa Kenya tukachukua nafasi hiyo ya kuongoza hizi parokia. Niliingia wakati wa Fadha Ilali. Na Fadha Ilali sikuwa nimeingia sana kanisani maana yake mahali nilikuwa nafanya kazi nilikuwa naona changamoto sana ya kutoka kwa sababu ya shortage ya kazi lakini niliweza kutoka na nikafanya na fadhaila ile kama mkristo wa kawaida na kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeingia shirika inaitwa Red Cross nilitembea na fadhaila ile kwa wagonjwa nimewahi tembea na yeye nikiwa mkristo wa kawaida na tukatembelea wagonjwa tukatembelea mahali watu walikuwa wamefiliwa The chairman of the Catholic Men's Association CMA at Christ the Sower Parish Peketoni shares the involvement of men in the mission of the OFM Capuchins. Hata wale wazee wetu ambao kwamba hawezi kufika kanisani kwa misa tunaenda kwao tunawapelekea sala tunawapelekea misa tunaomba fadha tunatembea na yeye anatoa misa na tangalao wapate nafasi ya kupokea maana katika uzee wao wanaweza kukosa wakati wowote wa kufika kanisani ama nafasi ama uwezo wa kufika kanisani wakiwa hawezi kufika kanisani na tumepeleka misa katika nyumba zao wanapata nafasi ya kupokea mbuni na damu ya Kristo majority of the animators tuko walimu wengi in fact wengi a good number tuko walimu kwa hivyo hawa ni watoto ambao tunaingiliana nao wapi shuleni during the week uh, the weekdays ikifika weekend tunakuja tunakutana nao so we journey with them eh? So tukiona kama kuna aspect ambayo sio nzuri, unajua kule shuleni uwezi changanya na na kanisani. Kule tukiona tunakuja tunaiaddress hapa. Since then the parish has expanded and branched out into four outstations in response to the growing number of parishioners and the need to reach out to the far flung places within this region. Katika parokia ya Yesu Mpanzimwema tuko na jumla ya vigango vinne ambavyo vyote viko na jumuiya 20 pia katika kanisa letu kuna vikundi kwa mfano CWA ambayo ni kina mama kuna kina baba CMA kuna youth kuna yasa na PMC wote tunashirikiana vizuri katika kueneza injili mimi ni mwana youth katika parishi na tuko kadhaa kwa sasa kuna wale ambao wameanguka katika imani lakini kuna wale ambao tunazidi kushikilia tuko vijana kama kumi hivi na wasichana kama kumi na tano hivi kwa wale ambao kuna wale ambao wako shuleni kuna wale ambao wanaishi huku na wale wanapotoka shuleni huwa tunazidi kujumuika na wao ili tu, tuweze kuendeleza imani na kuvuta wengine walioanguka katika imani It takes concerted efforts of the leadership of the friars and other church leaders Lucas the deputy moderator in the central outstation of Christ the Good Sower in Peketoni Lamu Dinari in Malindi Diocese had this to say about his leadership role Kwa jumla wa Kristu wa parokia ya Peketoni Kristu mpanzi mwema mpeketoni wanashirikiana vizuri na wachungaji ambao wametumwa na shirika na pia wanaendelea kuwatunza vizuri naendelea kushukuru shirika kwa kutupatia nafasi ya kudumiwa na hawa baba wa kiroho kutoka shirika la wakapchini. 
Since 1974, Christ the Soul and Peketoni has been a home to many, both lay and religious, men and women. Sister Purity Nginat attests to this. Kusama kweli imani hapa katika parokia hii imekuwa sana tangu nikiwa mdogo na nikikompea na sasa imani ime, imekuwa kwa kiwango kikubwa sana sababu nikiangalia tangu nikiwa mchanga wa Kristo walikuwa wachache wachache lakini ukiangalia kwa saizi kanisa kwa kweli kanisa limekuwa na hapa Kristo mpanzi mwema na tunashukuru kwa ndugu zetu wa Kapuchini ambao wanasaidia sana wa Kristo hapa na pia mito mito ni mingi sana katika parokia hii yetu tunaona maendeleo mengi sana kutoka kwa ndugu zetu wa Kapuchini na kwa kazi hizo na juhudi hizo ambazo wanazifanya tunaona maendeleo yenu na Mungu azidi kuwabariki tunawashukuru wa Kristo wa uh, Kristo mpanzi mwema eh, kwa sababu ya kuonyesha eh, uh, ukarimu wao na upendo kwa ndugu wa Kapuchino ili ambayo nafurahia sana kufanya kazi hapa ni upendo wa Wakristo wanapenda fathers wao wale ndugu ambao wanatumwa hapa tuna ushirikiano na wao vizuri eh, and I'm happy to be here Located in Peketoni, the coastal town of southwest of Lamu, Christ the Sower Parish has stood the test of times with reported incessant targeted attacks by the Somalia-based Al-Shabaab militant group. Tukiangalia katika maeneo hii kanisa letu ni kubwa na linda washirika wengi. So wakati tunasikia mambo hawa ya shambulizi ya Al-Shabaab ata attendance ya kanisa utaona watu wa wamepungua kuja kanisani kwa sababu ya ya ule uoga baada ya shambulizi la kigaidi la mwaka wa 2016 ambalo lilitokea hapa Mpeketoni liliyumbisha imani ya wakristu wengi lakini kwa sababu imani ya wakristu ina misingi hawakuweza kutatizika kutokana na shambulizi hilo waliweza kumakinika na kurudi na kuendelea na kuhudumu katika kanisa. Kwa sasa hivi tunaweza sema mambo ya security yako vizuri it's a bit stable. The different groups in the church work closely with the Capuchin priests and brothers within the Malindi ecclesiastical entity to evangelize to Catholic faithful and especially to those who are yet to receive the gospel. Vigango vyetu kimoja kinaitwa mapenya eh, uziwa eh, kisuke na pia tunahudumia tuna shule ya Bakanja Secondary School uh, pia tunahudumia masista wa poor players kwa sababu wako chini yetu na eh, tuko nazo vikundi vya kanisa hizo vikundi zote tukiunganisha nguvu zote tunaona kama kanisa inaendelea vizuri the resilient seed of love at Christ the Sower has continued to fortify the bond which remains unwavered even in the face of unprecedented times such as the novel COVID-19 pandemic which induced restrictions in every sphere curtailing social interactions. Imani inaendelea kukua na wamama wamekuwa wamama wa kujituma kwa sababu ni mambo mengi hasa wakati wa corona wakati kulikuwa <coughs> hakuna misa na shukuru sana wa mama wa hapa kigango cha centro tulikuwa tunapigania simu huku na huku na tunaokota kiasi ya pesa na kila jumapili tulikuwa tunamletea fadha ki, kiasi cha fedha ya kuweza kujisaidia kwa sababu ya mahitaji ya kila siku na shukuru wa mama hawakuweza kuachilia mapadre wetu tuliendelea vizuri the friars go beyond the pastoral duties to educate and empower men, women and the youth to be self-reliant through self-help groups, something that continues to attract more followers to serve in God's vineyard. Tunakutana siku ya Arahamisi. Wakati mwingi tunakuwa na mafundisho hasa na chaplain wetu ambayo tunatumiwa na Tunashukuru pia hawa mafathers wa captain kwa sababu kuna brothers pale umoja. Kila father akija kama wako busy tuna wanahakikisha tuna brother ambaye atatembea na wamama. Na hawa brother pia wameweza kutufunza mirandi mingi. Wakati mwingine huwa tuna rafiki ya siri tunainuana sisi kwa sisi. 
pia tuna miradi ya godoro hapa sasa kwetu tunakondisha kama saa hii watoto wako njandoni tushakondisha hapo tumeibuka tena na na mradi wa catering kama kuna sherehe hapa kuliko kuchukua mtu wa nje tumeungana wa kina mama tunapika na tunapata fedha kidogo hiyo nayo inaingia kwa chama tumeibuka pia na mradi ambao tunaona unaleta pesa kwa haraka mradi wa vitamba hizi za immigrate heart bado tunaendelea na inatuletea faida Wanjiko, a youth leader at Cross the Soa in Peketoni, shared the youth strategy and participation in evangelization. Tunakuanga na kikundi cha evangelism, evangelization na mimi ndiyo kiongozi katika hicho kikundi na tunawafundisha hasa katika imani ya Kristo kueleza kuhusu vile Roho Mtakatifu anavyo aendeleza uh, maisha yetu ya kila siku na kuwafunza jinsi ambavyo Yesu angetaka waweze waweze kushiriki na yeye kwa undani zaidi. Tangu nikiwa mchanga wa Kristo walikuwa wachache wachache lakini ukiangalia kwa saizi kanisa kwa kweli kanisa limekuwa na hapa Kristo mpanzi mwema. Na tunashukuru kwa ndugu zetu wa Kapuchini ambao wanasaidia sana wa Kristo hapa na pia mito mito ni mingi sana katika parokia hii yetu tumekuwa tukishiriki katika kuna hiyo ya tunaita home visit tunaenda kutembelea wenzetu tulikuwa tunaenda kutembelea uh, familia za wale wasiojiweza tunaweza kuwasaidia kwa kitambo kiasi na kwa kazi za kanisa tulikuwa kukitokea jambo fulani tulikuwa tunajitolea si kama wana youth kufanya usaidizi kwa sababu sisi ndio tuliona nguvu zaidi katika kanisa Naona imani inaendelea kuongezeka vile pia wamama wamezidi kuongezeka najua tutakuwa na idadi kubwa ya wale wanawake watakaopokelewa katika jimbo wale ambao wale, walikuja kwanza kuanza e, shirika hii e, ya e, Franciscan Capuchin wale ndugu ambao walitoka Malta e, kwanza tunawashukuru kwa sababu ya kuja kwao na kuanzisha shirika hapa Kenya na walianzisha mikakati ya kuona ya kwamba maendeleo ya kanisa yako walijenga mashule wakajenga mahospitali wako na mashamba tunalima tunapata faida kutokana kwa kwa ndugu wetu wa kwanza na sasa hivi e, kwa sababu sasa wengi wamerudi kule kwao na tu, sasa tumeachiwa jukumu katika mikono yetu kwanza nashukuru sana kwa sababu ya viongozi ambao wameingia ndugu zetu wa Afrika ambao wamekuwa viongozi wetu wame wameendeleza mahali uh, au wa ndugu wetu uh, ambao walitoka Malta uh, walianzisha As we celebrate 50 years of the Franciscan Capuchin Friars presence in Kenya we thank you Lord for all those who have helped us in one way or another in living the Franciscan Caption Charism vocation. We beseech you, Lord, to continue guiding us in the right path so that through the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi and all the Franciscan saints, our Mother Mary, we may live a life of dedicated service to you and to our brothers and sisters, especially